from overflows the catheritic process crying is a deep necessity so is the laughter both are important aspects of catharsis and like two feet as two feet are necessary for walking so too crying and laughter they are two different types of emotions one clears inner disturbance that is crying and laughter generates new energy within your system laughter with that the energy is generated conserved and then gets distributed throughout the entire system if one can cry and is allowed to cry one will become fresh again the frustration is thrown through crying otherwise with a stopped crying the frustration too is is deepened now one will have to go on piling it up and you are more in the situation that is difficult to handle human mind looks at the possibility of explosive process of catharsis catharsis is always explosive and it is strives to bring out unwanted and unresolved issues from the layers of subconscious and unconscious layers into light therefore catharsis comes as an important tool in the process of transformation of human consciousness in the process first thing to be remembered catharsis will happen deeply if you just help it to happen catharsis is a deep inner cleansing process and if you just cooperate with it you will be refreshed mind is suppressed and you have so much pushed things down that to reach them your cooperation is needed so whenever you feel even a light catharsis helps in to become stronger just as you take every day shower or at least or sometimes more than once shower to keep yourself refreshed so to catharsis is inner wash wash with the with an understanding inner wash with the with crying and laughter do not just wait if you feel that your hand is trembling do not just wait help it to tremble even more do not feel or think that it has to be spontaneous so you have to wait if it has to be spontaneous then you will have to wait for years because for life you have to be suppressing and suppression was not spontaneous you have done it on purpose you will have to do quite the opposite now only then can the suppression be brought to the surface you feel like crying you cry mildly help it along make it a deep scream 
you do not know that from the very beginning you have been suppressing your crying when a child's emotions get disturbed and the child is crying the mother says stop crying otherwise i will hit you so what does the child do he holds on to his breath and by holding the breath the crying is suppressed not stopped you have not cried really from the very beginning the child wants to cry and to laugh but it is considered as bad etiquette the crying is a deep necessity for him through crying every day he goes through the process of catharsis the child has many frustrations it is bound to be as necessity the child wants something but he cannot say what he cannot express it the child wants something but the parents may not be in a position to fulfill it the mother may be may not be available there she may be busy in some other work and he may not be cared for at that moment no attention is paid to him so he starts crying the mother wants to persuade him to console him because she is disturbed by his crying and the father too is disturbed the whole family is disturbed this it is considered as nuisance everyone tries to distract him so that he may not cry he can bribe him we can bribe him the mother can give him a toy she can give him milk anything to create distraction or to console him but he should not cry but crying is a deep necessity if he can cry and is allowed to cry he will become fresh again it is like he has taken the inner shower the frustration is thrown through crying just as when you use body wash or soap your dust and all that layers that are there on the body are removed so to crying is like the inner wash or the soap that helps to cleanse the innerness otherwise with a stop crying the frustration too is stopped now he will go on piling it up and you are a piled up cry now psycho psychologists say that you need a primal scream there was a psychologist abraham maslow he gave this concept of primal scream now a therapy is developing in the west just to help you to scream so totally that every cell of your body is involved in it if you can scream so madly that your whole body is screams in it you will be relieved of much pain much suffering that is accumulated within you will become just like a child fresh and innocent again but that primal scream is not going to come suddenly you will have to help it to come so it is so deep down that there are so many layers of depression that do not just wait you have to help it consciously therefore when you want to cry cry whole heartedly give total energy to it and enjoy and help it there was a mystic named hote 
he came to be known as laughing buddha that was the time when not much was suppressed life was natural and spontaneous he used to go with a bag on his back and he will stand up at a place begin to laugh give a belly laughter and with that when people will gather around and everyone will begin to laugh he will move away from there and that was his whole life because that was the time that much suppression was not there only the uh, connection between the existential energy and your reservoir was needed and the second thing is to enjoy it remember if you are not enjoying what are you doing when you take a shower you enjoy taking a shower and nobody forces you at times you take more than once or twice shower a day it cannot go the if you are not enjoying it it cannot go deep it will be superficial if you are screaming then enjoy it otherwise this will be your normal day to day outburst not catharsis just as you scream in the office at your employees or your employer screams at you or you scream at the children enjoy the very thing and feel good both laughter and crying are two feet to walk through the desert of inner subconscious and unconscious layers of the being crying helps to clear emotional disturbances within and laughter helps to generate more energy and conserve it the relaxed silence after both crying and laughter is the process of releasing releasing the beauty and fragrance of the music that music that life is both within and without if you are feeling somewhere that what i am doing is not good what will others say what a childish thing i am doing even a slight feeling like this will become repression enjoy it and be playful about it enjoy and be playful just inquire more and more whether it can become deeper whether you can help it more in what way can you help it more if you are sitting and crying then maybe if you start jumping the cry will become deeper you will be throwing out repression through tantrums or if you lie down on the floor and start thrashing about maybe it will become deeper try help it along and enjoy it and you will feel there are many ways in which you can help it along enjoy trying to deepen it and once it takes over then you will not be needed once it comes to the right source where energy is hidden once you touch the right source and the energy is released then you are not needed you you can flow automatically spontaneously and when it starts flowing spontaneously you will be cleansed completely you will be refreshed and childlike alone once again enough for now